If you're looking for a spot to take out of town guests this holiday season, well, you don't have to look very far. The Twin Cities is full of light displays. Garden Guy Dale K is live at the Minnesota Landscape Arboretum for us this morning. Taking a look at the work that goes into creating their poinsettia tree. Do you call it, we'll start with this, Dale, poinsettia, poinsettia, or poinsettia? <laughs> <laughs> That's um, so fancy. I, I can say them all, but I, I, I say poinsettia. That's, okay. that's the official closed. Australian version of okay. that of Love that it. word, case closed. You mentioned a great place to take um, take the family uh, over the holiday season. Lots going on here. They, of course, they have their winter lights display. Absolutely spectacular at night. You've got to make bookings for it. That goes through January 1st. This Thursday coming up is date night, and they've got a little bit of dancing going on. Uh, I won't be doing that. That would, be tr that would be tragic, seeing me dance or attempting to dance. They also have snowshoeing as well. Lots of things coming up. I'm not doing that today either. Too cold outside, crikey. But inside here, we have this wonderful poinsettia tree. And of course, poinsettias themselves are so easy to decorate with and make a statement in the home. But when there are hundreds of them, it is a true show stopper joining us this morning. Wendy Composto from the Arboretum here does all, plans all, a lot of the events and stuff like that. Firstly, I guess, how many poinsettias are here? You know, we, roughly 500 here. Oh, wow. So um, we have poinsettias here also in the cafe, in our conservatory, and decorated. But these poinsettias are absolutely gorgeous. And uh, I know a lot of people have these in their house, and maybe they're a little bit hard to take care of. Um, you always have to make sure that they're moist. You can't let the um, soil dry out. But if you can see here... You have a really um, unique watering system. Yeah, so this, is, this tree is 25 feet tall, and each poinsettia gets a little spigot here. So this will go right into the poinsettia, and so we'll water it. Um, you, you also see that you're not supposed to keep the poinsettias in their little foil. So each one of these foils has a slit in it. So once the poinsettias are watered, then it drains right into the bottom. We have this um, pan that catches all the water, keeps everything nice and safe. Uh, but it's, you know, it's a beautiful tree. This is back after being gone for a couple of years. Um, at the very top, we have the Craig Mitchell Smith um, star that he designed just for us back when he was here uh, a number of years ago doing an outdoor summer exhibit. But it's, it's really a pretty. beautiful, yeah, beautiful glass. Um, and you notice this year, for the first time, we have pink poinsettias. Because you can get poinsettias in all different colors, from creamy white to pink, red, and, and some really beautiful other um, colors as well, but we love our poinsettia tree. People, um, this is definitely a showstopper. People love to get, come out and get their picture. Come out, yeah, take a family picture right here. Now, when we have a little bit of video of what goes into um, getting this tree uh, together, quite the, pro quite the process. How many people, how long does it take? Yeah, it takes, it takes a good two days, um, plus another couple of days of just planning, making sure we have um, th the stand here because it's stored back. Um, on the, uh, on the back 40. Exactly. Yeah. Um, bringing it up, it's, it's a process, um, but it's such a fun process and people love to come out and see us put it up. So then, you know, the reverse will happen um, after January 1st, we'll be taking it down too. Right. Okay, back here live, we've got a shot of that beautiful star at the top there. Uh, truly beautiful. And all, I should also mention here at the Arboretum, come on this way, Chip, bring, bring, it, bring, bring it in close, bring it in close. They have a wonderful gift shop. It's just right on the other side of us here. They have some great local gifts, great stocking stuffers. First, I'm going to point out this little lip balm here. And the good thing about this is partial proceeds go to the B Lab that's right here at the Minnesota Landscape Arboretum. That is a wonderful little stocking stuffer. This, I guess, just flies off the shelf. It's so, oh, it's so smooth. I can almost feel that. It's goat's milk soap. And you get that on your body. That'll be Bob's your uncle. Uh, maple syrup. This is quite possibly the best maple syrup in America. I've guzzled about a half a gallon of this. Um, this is wonderful. This is, um, this is elderberry, and I guess you can squirt a little bit in your favorite holiday cocktail, but the best thing about elderberry is it's actually great for cold and flu season. Uh, it kind of gives your immune system a bit of a boost, but if you want to be a little cozy by the campfire maybe, um, this or by the fire, this holiday season. Pop a little bit of that in your, uh, in your favorite cocktail as well. Of course, they've got local honey as well. So some great stocking stuffers. You know, you've got all the regular kind of garden gifts as well that are good. These books too um, fly off the shelf. And it, this is a great place also for a nature walk. 
lots and lots of bird life. Uh, these two little books here are also really popular. So some great little stocking stuffers as well for you and maybe your family. But I should mention, I'm just going to show this really quick. This is quite possibly the best holiday gift I have received for a long time. It is Shane's mum's um, caramel corn and it's almost, it's addictive. Shane, I don't know how you have a wonderful little, or how you managed to have a wonderful little holiday elf like that. Mm -hmm. An angel, a Isn't holiday she angel. The best? Carol corn. It's Carol. It's Christmas Carol corn, mm -hmm. and it is the best. I know it's. I've. That's what I had for breakfast. <laughs> it is so. It's so good. The the Chip and da the Chip and Dale show love the corn. I love will let her corn. know. She. It is a process that I've never even tried because it is so involved, and that's why I let her do all the work. She's good at it. Yes. Dale, thank you. Enjoy so your caramel good. corn. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Real. enjoy that. Mm. Oh, I know. I'm just thinking about it. I have. I left a little for later today. I think the entire station right now is running on yeah, caramel corn. Just, and then yeah. sugar crash coming in. Three, it's coming. Two. Nope. A little longer.